everybody. Welcome back or welcome if you are new around here. My name is Abby and I have a grocery haul for you guys today. I got a lot of stuff. I ended up going to Walmart and then I also did pick up just a couple things from Target, not very much, but I will show you guys what I got from both places. So we are a family of five. So it's me, my husband, and then I have a 14 year old daughter, a 12 year old son, and a six-year-old, almost seven-year-old daughter as well. So definitely a lot of mouths to feed around here and older kids, so you know, they eat just as much as we do. So I have a lot of food. I will have a dinner meal plan for you guys as well, so look for that at the end of the video. I will also have a what's for dinner video coming out soon, as well as a crock pot video coming out soon with some fun recipes. So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those future videos, but I will quit blabbering and I will go ahead and I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the Target stuff since I didn't really get too much from there, but I grabbed these Hershey's Kisses. I've never seen these before. They're milk chocolate filled with strawberry flavored cream. I don't know if I'll like them, but I feel like the kids will have fun with these. So I grabbed those just for a little treat and to have out. It's kind of cute to have Halloween candy out. So I grabbed that. This coconut cashew butter granola is my favorite. It is so good, definitely like tastes really good. I love to just put it in yogurt and eat it that way. I grabbed some printer paper because we we're almost out. My youngest has been going through this like crazy, just coloring and stuff. Um, I grabbed some frosting. This is just regular vanilla. I'm going to be making some sugar cookies and I just thought the kids would like this to frost it with and then they can color it with food coloring or use sprinkles. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed these wax melts. This is a pumpkin spice caramel latte and then vanilla bean amber. Definitely one of my favorites they have. I just take one of each and then put it in my wax warmer and it lasts quite a while and it smells really, really good. Definitely one of my favorite scents. And then I grabbed a few cereals. So Count Chocula, they're all Halloween versions. I thought my kids would enjoy that. So there's Count Chocula, there's Apple Jacks with little marshmallow bats and Frankensteins and then the Reese's Puff Bats as well. My youngest, or my only son, <laughs> um, likes the Reese's Puffs so, so much. He always begs for them, so I know he'll be super excited about those. The Dixie Plates, I just went ahead, I grabbed a super big thing of them um, because we go through them um, pretty quickly with five of us, so I just grabbed a big thing to kind of restock for those, and that's everything that I got from Target, so not that much. So starting off now with the Walmart stuff, I grabbed these two bags of Cheetos. I knew my kids would love these. They're the uh, bag of bones. So they're cinnamon and sugar flavored Cheetos, but you can make like your own little skeletons with them. I thought they were kind of cute and fun. And then along, going along with the pumpkin theme, I grabbed two of the brownie pumpkins. My youngest daughter loves these brownie, like the cosmic brownies. So I knew that she would like these as well. They all like them, let's be real. And then I just grabbed some Lucky Charms hot chocolate. Never had this, but I knew my kids would love it. They love the Lucky Charms marshmallows, what kid doesn't? So just grabbed a pack of this just to try, and then if they like it, I'll grab more next time. Some marshmallow ghosts. We're gonna be having like kind of a Halloween kind of weekend, cookies, movies, all that good stuff. So I grabbed a lot of like the Halloween treats, if you can't tell. Um, some more wax melts. This one smelled really good as well. I'd never tried it or smelt it. It's the apple pumpkin donuts, but it's not really good. Hopefully it lasts as well as the other version does. So I just thought I'd test that one out. Some sourdough. This is definitely one of my favorites. They have it at Costco, but I don't see us going through two of them and the price difference isn't too much. So I just grabbed it from Walmart because I want to make grilled cheese with this as well. Some tostadas. I grabbed this because we're going to have tostadas this week sometime. So I grabbed one of those. I grabbed some Slim Jims just for my husband and then my youngest son likes these as well. So I just grabbed a little pack of that. We we're almost out of canola oil spray. So I grabbed that. I've never seen these before, but my kids go crazy for the Starbucks chocolate croissants. And I saw these there and there's six of them in there. So I went ahead and I picked up two packs of these because they just looked really good and I thought they would enjoy those for like a little treat and a snack. So two of those, because I know they'll go so fast. I grabbed some pita pocket bread because I want to do like tuna pita pockets. I thought that'd be really good sometime this week. So I grabbed that. 
some French bread for our soup. This is always like the best deal. It's just a dollar for this thing. So really can't beat that. Hamburger buns for hamburgers. I also have some sloppy, not sloppy Joe, um, Philly cheesesteak, like um, ground beef that I'm going to be doing as well, which we could use these for as well. Or I might use the Hawaiian buns that I already have. I'm not quite sure. My son requested some sausage patties, so I got those for him. Just some chicken for dinners this week. My daughter requested blue corn tortilla chips, kind of random, but I found those for her. I grabbed these little crackers for the tomato soup. If you've never seen these, definitely like the greatest for soup. They're just little minis. I love buying these for soup or even just the snack on. Obviously, like if you're not feeling well or something, they're just like the perfect little size and they don't leave cracker crumbs everywhere, which is what I really like. So grabbed one thing of those, a cheese frozen pizza just to have on hand, just some eggs. We have quite a bit, but I didn't want to run out. So I just grabbed this just in case, cause they'll be good. No matter what, we will go through them. I grabbed some more chicken nuggets because my kids have been loving putting these in the air fryer just by themselves and they ran out. So I grabbed just one more pack of those for them to have. My kids always used to eat these and I kind of forgot. So I just grabbed a little pack to see if they'd still want them. They're just the biscuits and sausage, no cheese or anything. So I grabbed those for them just for like an easy breakfast or a snack. Some butter because we're gonna be baking. So I grabbed just some more of that as well. Two things of lactose-free milk to have on hand. Um, my daughter is going to be having a room makeover. It's one of the things that we're giving her for her birthday. And she has sheets from Target that look very similar to this that I got her. So I grabbed her this little fleece throw and it was only $3, but I thought it would be super cute together with the sheets. So I was excited to see that because I have been looking on for her. So I will have to keep you guys posted on how that room makeover turns out. I'm crossing my fingers. It will be a good one. <laughs> I think it will be. Um, I have some Daisy Light Sour Cream, just some sliced pro provolone cheese. This is going to be for the Philly cheesesteaks that I mentioned earlier. I have lots of tomato soup there. So there's one big one and then three of the little cans. So these is all tomato soup, pumpkin pie spice because they were almost out and I knew I was going to need it. And this is something I always forget and I always get to a recipe and I'm like, I don't have it. So I went ahead, I grabbed it, even though I'm not going to need it yet, but I will here shortly. I grabbed a chili kit just so I can make chili and cornbread sometime this week. It sounds so good now that it's like rainy outside, just perfect weather for chili. These sprinkles I grabbed for cookies. We will, we, I have more sprinkles um, already, but I thought these would be a fun addition and sprinkles are good for quite a while. So those will definitely be used. I have four things of um, the yogurts. So this is just the peach. I haven't tried the peach in the light and fit, but I felt like it'd be really, really good. So I grabbed four of those. I already have some blackberry ones. I grabbed this cheese for, what do I have it for? For the um, French onion soup. <laughs> oh my goodness. We decided to invite people over to eat it as well. So I needed more of it. So I grabbed some more cheese of that and I'll be making that here in the next few days and I may film it. I'm not sure. So be on the lookout for that. I have some creamy chicken and dumpling soup as well as some New England clam chowder soup. So two of each. These are just good to have on hand for the kids or my husband as well. Um, some just refried beans. We'll probably be using those for the tostadas. I have chili ready tomatoes for the chili as well as some tomato sauce for the chili. And then two things of tuna for the pitas. Some LaCroix, this is the cherry lime. This is one of my favorites and I haven't had it for a while. So I grabbed one thing of that, the zero sugar Dr. Pepper. This is the cherry version. Some bananas, which may turn to banana bread. I'm not sure. Um, I'd never seen this kombucha before. So this is a California citrus. I thought it looked kind of good kind of citrusy, kind of orange juice type drink. I haven't tried it yet, so hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> I grabbed a few nectarines and then some peaches. None of them are even close to being ripe. So I'm hoping that they ripen up okay. Sometimes I feel like 
fruit from Walmart like this just doesn't ever really get ripe. It goes from like not being ripe to being bad. I don't know what happens. I don't, maybe it's a me thing. I have no idea, but I grabbed those, crossed my fingers. They turn out well. A bell pepper for the Philly cheesesteak meal that I was talking about. Some tomatoes for sandwiches and pitas and tacos and all that good stuff. Just some of these shredded carrots I thought I could throw in even to the tuna salad or something. I'm not quite sure. Caesar salad and then some romaine hearts. All right, so that is everything that I ended up getting. I feel like I didn't get as much stuff as I have in previous weeks, but this is definitely just what we needed for now to hold us over until next week. I will have a playlist down below of all of my haul videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to check that out. I'll have all of those down there. So if there's some that you missed, you can check them out there all in one place, super convenient. Be sure to look out for those future what's for dinner and crock pot videos as well. I will have the recipes with those as well so you guys can make them at your homes. But with all that being said, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.